previously on Cyberpunk 2077. Thank God. Evelyn, you hear me? That place sucked every last drop of humanity from her. It's not enough. She already gave up everything she had. I just kept taking more and more. Now we know what happened to Klaus. They're the ones who tried to flatline her. Launched a nuke at her chip. Fuck. So it was punishment? For getting played by her? She knew more than they thought she knew. Couldn't let that go. Now back to Cyberpunk 2077, episode 17. to the afterlife to meet with Rogue see if she can help me find Hellman cuz I did manage to find Evelyn I didn't get any details on anything from her obviously she's traumatized as fuck so let's see if Rogue can give me a different outcome at this point Um, hey. hey. Here you go. Thank you. Alright, wish me luck. Hey, v. Yeah, Hi. hang on. Right. You come to talk about my offer? I mean, fuck it, why not? Yeah, let's talk street racing. Sure, but not here, it's mayhem. I'll be at my garage after my shift. Swing by? Nova, talk there. Have a good one. So after the meeting with Rogue, I'll definitely talk to Claire. I lost everything. Let me be plain again. Solve your own problems. Clean up your own shit. Go fuck yourself. Damn. Okay. Rogue? Wanted to talk. It's okay. Thank you. Hmm. Not here. Not there. Who are you? Name's V. And what is it you want, V? All these years, and it's really her. Fucking rogue, just kicking it back on a couch at the afterlife. I bet you're excited. She's got MRIs. See right through you. Give her the truth. Okay. Need your services. Gotta track a guy down. Mm-hmm. Anders Hellman. Hotshot engineer worked for Arasaka. Millisec. Anders Hellman. Pinpoint him for me? <laughs> Thanks. Jumping too soon. First, my help's got a price. I have the money. Second and third. Dexter Deshawn. Jackie Wells. Tifa. Multiple bells ringing, V. Left a lot of bodies behind. Death walks in your wake. Chalk that up to bad luck? There's the bitch I know. Ask her about Sokka Tower. How they shot me up right in front of her. Wanna go through a little bit? Really? Fine. Johnny Silverhand. Zeroed inside our Sokka Tower. Before your very eyes. Got more if you want. Or we could just talk. Check Got man. on you, girl. Don't like that on every woman, but they seem to suit you. Thank you. Anyways, feelings be damned, I've always said. This is pure biz. You need my help, so get those eddies ready. Mm-hmm. See? Fuck. Should be enough. Mm-hmm. Come back tomorrow. We'll talk. All right. Whatever. I was gonna give that money to fucking Vic, but you know what? 
No, buddy. I'm good. <sighs> I can just have a drink or two, I guess, right? Here to see Rogue. Expecting me. No right. Bet. Hey, Rogue, I'm back. What about Hellman? Two, please. Make some room. Oh, I get to sit right yeah. next to you? Bet. I'm honored. Don't see that often. Determination like yours. Must really need this guy. Matter of life and death. <laughs> Haven't heard that for a while either. Thank you. Bottle stays. Okay. Go ahead. Enjoy. To your health. To yours, kid. Gonna need it. Is that foreshadowing? Because I'll be damned. Thanks, Nick. Queen of the afterlife. Who would have thunk? I bet you're excited, Johnny. A shard for you. Intel. Interesting stuff. Think she'll help? The rogue I remember was one cold ass bitch. But she usually went with her gut. Something tells me she thinks you check out. Hmm. Bet. Let's see what you got. Your helmet's not on any payroll, not officially anyway. But he does pop up in GNT's confidential stacks. It's a Kang Tao subsidiary, Chinese Corp. Kang Tao's been using them as a fig leaf for years. They're masked for more sensitive operations. All that clear? Probably keeping him hidden from Arasaka. Must have worked on a top secret project. Mm-hmm. Hidden from Arasaka or any other mega corp that wants what he knows. Decrypted map of upcoming Kang Tao convoy routes. Think Hellman might be in one of them? Thing is, which one? Take a look at the specs on this one. A lone AV, no ground support, no linked cargo manifests either. Weird. Sure, Kang Tao sometimes transports stuff unregistered if they want to push it under the table, but catch the load on this AV. Already approved in the system, but too low. So definitely no cargo on board. Huh. But there's a passenger list. Kang Tao security detail plus one VIP. That's Hellman. From Our boy Hellman. That was the good news. There it is. Hmm. So what's the catch? So what's the bad news? Bad news is the extraction site. Look, Night City airspace. All this. Fuck. Mm -hmm. No way to jack the transport without the NCPD picking up on it. And here, we're too close to Kang Tao. We even give that AV a dirty look. Their backup hustle will be on us. But right here's Jackson Plains. Narrow corridor, just outside the city and just out of Kang Tao's reach. Guess it's your lucky day. A dead zone. I'll grab him there. Gonna need a native to the area. Someone who'll set up the op, cobble together the gear. Okay. So a native. Know any hick marks? Just one. Pan Am Palmer. She can't count on her clan anymore, but she's a true nomad. She knows those lands. And she will help you. Won't have a choice. Won't have a choice? Does not sound enticing. Not for her, not for me. Enticing comes at a price you can't possibly afford. Damn. Can't possibly afford to blow this chance at Navin Hellman. Your operation, your call. Got a bad feeling, V. Hmm. Seems wonky to me. Nomads give the city city folk a wide berth. Varies by clan, by the connections they have, the depth of shit they're in. But you're right. Alda Caldos are rarely willing to do biz with the city. Pan Am's got a different take? Yep, on everything, it seems. Why's Pan Am gotta help me? I sense a catch. Pretty big one. Occasionally, Pan Am moves merch for me. Last job? Well, wasn't a good day for her. That's a catch. Hitch. 
complete bust, actually. Lost the goods and her ride. Pan Am will do anything to get the low back. Means her dignity. I know her. Okay. I guess I can try to help her, but if we don't know where to look, I mean... We do. I do. So where is that? Hmm. You know, but wouldn't tell Pan Am. Aim to play cat and mouse with me, too? My aim is to know an opportunity when I see one, and then to seize it. Say I told her everything. What do you think she'd have done? Grabbed her iron and gone on the warpath, that's what. Not hard to see how that could end it. And there's nothing I hate more than losing good people to plain stupidity. Okay, that makes sense. Her only chance? She's my only chance. Two pawns on Rogue's board. You're quick. For a pawn. No, V. Johnny, just... Just let me do, bro. Let me do what I need to do. Fine, let me hear what you know. Rocky Ridge, ghost town just outside Night City. Pan Am knows where. You'll go there, get the merch back. Wheels too. Naturally, you'll call her first. Sending you her deeds. Oh, finally. All clear. Let's get out Thanks. of here. Good luck. Yeah, I'm gonna need it. I can tell. Um Thanks, Claire. No problem. Just call her if you need anything. Let me go and call Pam and Uh let me just get my phone here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come down, come down. Not now. Hey Pan Am. Got your number from Rogue. Name's V. Great. Where's that old war horse wanna kick me now? <laughs> this thing between you and Rogue. Couldn't care less. Got a job for you. Good. But I'm overextended at the moment. With the merch in your car? Getting him back? I can help with that. The rail freight yard on Benita Street. The one hugging the city line. We'll meet there. See you. There you go, now she responds. Alright, let me see how this Pam Am girl's... She's pretty interesting so far. So let's check her out. Is that her? She's alone too? Okay. Um... Hi! Excuse me? Hey, Pan Am? So you're V? Yep. Where's my car? Okay. Why does it matter? What's wrong with this one? It's borrowed. It's not mine. I asked where my car is. I obviously don't have it, but you know something? We can help each other. Rogue said so. I might have guessed. All right. Tell me all you know. Fail. And you can run back and tell Rogue to fuck right off. Damn. Like, bro, we just met. Fuck me, you always on the warpath? Only when someone tries to jerk me around. Where the hell is my car? I tell you, and then what? Gonna storm off, handle it all by yourself? That is no concern of yours. None. Well, you know what? All right, let me let me just de-escalate the situation because we're both coming off really strong with each other, and that doesn't solve anything. Calm down. Don't tell me what to do. And you're a brat. Mm. Know where to find the cargo and your car, but you go alone, you won't get him back. And you could lose something else besides. So let's figure something out. What do you want? Need to hit a Kangtail transport. Won't be easy. Wanna know I can count on you. Are you out of your goddamn mind? Yeah. Or you were the job. Kangtail's AV rattle take it over Jackson Plains. Heard that should help us. Yeah, I doubt it. Gonna be a guy on board. Need to talk to him. Fuck. In return, info on your cargo, 
Help in getting back what's yours. We got a deal. I don't know. I... Shit! Damn. Mmm. Alright, deal. But if you want your thing done, we'll need to get my Thornton back first. So where is it? Thought this was mostly about the merch. Fuck the merch. With that ride, I can take any transport job in town. Without it, only thing I can move is pizza. Maybe. I don't know if you're being dramatic or not, but... Cars in Rocky Ridge. You're supposed to know where that is. Cars there, goods are there. Nash, you dirty bastard. I will strangle you. Damn. Nash, a chum of yours? He hang you out to dry? Do not call him that. Fine. Partner. Former. If ever. The ship tricked me. Probably now aims to sell it off in Rocky Ridge. Is he ever going to be fucking disappointed? Rocky Ridge. Let's go. Uh, hang on. I, I, I should think this through. Really? You really have doubts? Yes. We'll need backup. Okay. We have one brief stop to make on the way. Wanna tell me where? Give me a sec. I should call the client. Convince them to leave the bastard hanging. Going ahead with the deal behind Rogue's back. Brave, I guess. Or fucking dumber than a drone. What do you ex Guys, what do you want me to do, Johnny? I'm gonna pass you the merch in Rocky Ridge. The thing is, the motherfucker screwed me. At this point, I need help, Johnny. Boss, I will take care of it. I just need you to give me a chance. Boss, come on. How many times have I moved things for you? And how many times have I failed? You have my word. After dark? Okay. No, don't call off the meat. Just don't show up. I'll take care of everything. Do you even have to ask? Of course I will. Thanks, boss. You won't regret this. Okay. I have bought us some time. Hmm. So... Who the hell's boss? Won't cause us any grief, I hope. Boss is a stand-up guy. Six straight. You drive for gang goons. Is that not allowed? Street punks need things moved. I need money like anyone else. Gave that meathead your word and he took it? Is that surprising? It's called having a reputation. Mm. You should try getting one of your own. Ouch. Okay. So, where to now? The Aldecaldo camp. I need to see some of the old clan. Don't seem too excited. That's not your concern. I still have friends there. You know, used to ride with nomads, too. Truly? I never would have guessed. Yep, backer clan, back in the day. Didn't work out between us, so I landed in Night City. So we have something in common after all. Yep, two little runts have been by our crew. Now we're all alone. Rogue mentioned your friends. Said you guys stopped seeing eye to eye. Well, since Rogue said so, it must be true. Calm your titties. You mean to irritate me. Okay, then. <laughs> no yeah. They're still family. So it's complicated. You might say so. Yes. Yeah, this is going to be a very fun mission. Any I can feel it. Help us? Especially with this hothead here. That is the plan. Good, let's roll. Get in. All right. And this little snazzy Thornton of yours that you're borrowing. Where'd you get the ride? Straight out of some driveway in Rancho? Yes, exactly. Mm. Is that a problem? For me, no. Not at all. I mean, there's no accounting for taste. Screw you. How far is the camp? Just past the city line. We'll jump on the nine and head east. How the hell did you land in this mess? I liked the color. The air freshener and booster seat came extra. You know I don't mean the car. What am I supposed to tell you? That I'm not about to let my partner rob me and get away with it? That my fixer made me look like a goddamn fool? What about you? Why do you need that clown from the AV? This particular clown's got intel I need. And I'm running out of time to get it. 
Until that can help hopefully so save my life. Tell me she knew about Nash. Rogue, do better not to worry what her agenda might be. God damn it. Guess you'll have to ask her yourself. Oh, I'll be sure to. I'll especially ask why she told me to work with Nash, yet forgot to mention he was rapping. But seriously, didn't realize Nash was rapping? No, the sneak forgot to show me his shift card. <laughs> Don't you keep track of who's in the area? The wraiths, right? Until now, they mostly jumped corporate transporters down by Highway 64. I see you know things. Know my blood. Damn, the view is so beautiful. Must have had her reasons. You don't say. Rogue won't open her mouth without weighing the for and against. What the spill and what the cold. That's a nice color. You know, even with the bugs and the glitches. I still say the view is actually pretty nice in this game. And honestly, if CD Projekt Red would have taken a little bit longer to release the game, this could have been game of the year, but it's not. And that would be the biggest downfall in Cyber in CD Projekt Red's gaming catalog for sure. A waste of potential. Now, in terms of this mission, Pam M is a sarcastic son of a bitch, and I love her personality already. Tit for tat, that's the type of chemistry I like. Ah, <sighs> lord. Let's see how this plays out, though. We're almost there. We'll gather my guys, then ride to Rocky Ridge. Bet. Bet. Or is it just my hangover? Fuck you too. Mm -hmm. And who's this? My babysitter. Wow. Hey, this is Scorpion. Mitch. Two old friends. Well, might not have needed a babysitter if you hadn't lost the merch in the car. Shut it, V. <laughs> Are you kidding? Did that beauty Thornton of yours finally bite it? She rode it to death in old Night City. No, it got clipped. Shit. Who did? It doesn't matter. I'll get her back. That's why I'm here. Need your help. With what? What's this about? Raffin screwed Pan Am. Plan is to show him that was a bad idea. How bad did they get you? Hmm. Bad enough to make me sit quietly through all your bullshit. You know, we would do anything for you, sister. But now? Now's hard. Seriously? You won't help? Uh, well, the old man told us to... Sit tight and get those generators back up after the batteries went kaput. Generators? You won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? Really could use your help. Come on, man. Please. Not this time. We're needed here. Damn, Fuck. man. I don't believe this. So you'll stay put because Saul told you to. You couldn't care less about me. Pan Am. This isn't about Saul. It's about the clan. You know that. Listen, we can't leave camp. No chance. But, but Saul never said a thing about gear. Okay. Well, I'll need that rifle of yours. And some of my own stuff. Take whatever you want. And take care of yourself out there. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll grab the gear. Then be out of your hair. Looks like you're stuck with me. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Disappointed? I don't know. Maybe a little, yes. <laughs> Fuck you too. Hey Pan Am, are you staying a while? No, I'll be going again soon. We'll talk next time. 
so. Hmm. Have you brought someone new? Does Saul know? Not your concern, friend. <sighs> Damn. You are truly a hothead. Hmm, it's your place. It's cute. Two box, of course. Damn. Will you help me with this? What's inside? A few odds and ends that should be useful. Take it. All right, that's everything. Let's go. Bitch, you're not gonna carry med packs? No extra snacky snacks? When you come back? <gasps> Wait a minute. Are you in soul fighting? Is that why you're not in this camp at the moment, Pam Man? Huh. Hmm. Right. This is very something. Yep. I'm not even surprised. So, I'm off. Yeah, yeah, go on, go already. Call us sometime. Keep an eye on her V. We'll do, Scorpion. I got you, fam. Since I'm babysitting her anyways. Damn, look at her. Got that Widowmaker gun. Alright. Alright, alright. Stop rushing me. Were those two in the army? Scorp and Mitch? Yeah. Panzer boys. They're on contract during the last war. Panzer boys? Flew those huge transporters? Scorpion piloted. Mitch ran security. Hmm. They both got some kick-ass combat implants and a stack of really fucked up nightmares. Damn. I feel bad for them. Mitch and Scorpion seem good souls. The best friends a girl could ask for. I'd stay in the camp too if I were in their shoes. Fuck Saul and his generators, of course. Yet the clan comes first. But I'm not part of it anymore. I still treated you like you're one of them. They care about you. Mm-hmm. Do you have anyone you would call close? Not right now, no. Could just be a matter of time, though. <laughs> okay. Seems you've got a real problem with authority. What? Mm. Rogue? Saul? Your leader? Their leader. Seemed in a hurry to delta the hell out of there. Yeah. What gives? Let's just say Saul wouldn't have been happy to see me. How you know? What happened? The reason we came to California was because he promised to change for the Aldecaldos. He claimed we would turn over a new leaf. But you saw it. We got a handful of tents on a heap of sand. A hell of a promised land. I wanted something different. Better. Saul's a damned coward. He'll be the end of the clan, I'm certain. Damn. Yeah, you definitely got unresolved conflict here. So, Rocky Ridge. Empty, dusty hole in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, I heard. Natives either moved to Night City or just got the hell out. Then you know almost all there is to know. The whole area was waiting on a new interstate extension. It was supposed to breathe new life into the town. It didn't happen, of course. How many ghost towns do you think are there? Hundreds? Countrywide? Thousands. Yeah. I drove down I-80 the other day. All you have to do is pull over after sundown. It's quiet there. What's that? The wind whistling through boarded up windows. Tumbleweeds scratching across dry, sandy tracks. That's how towns die. Not with a bang, but with whispers and whimpers. Damn, that's depressing as fuck. Then again, that sounds like Brass Mill Mall. Everything closing down. All the big name stores going out. All there's left is Okay. We have arrived. A driving school, a dentist. What do we do? And random ass stores. The rapids, and we've little time for that. We'll need to improvise. We should scout first to look for anything that might be useful. Thank you for watching this week's video of Cyberpunk 2077. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next time.